The National Museum of Qatar seeks to preserve and celebrate Qatar's heritage and natural history, engage with its presence, and inspire the country's ambitions for the future. The museum, which opened in March 2019, gives voice to the country's heritage and culture through commissioned films and artworks, storytelling, artifacts, and music. It combines a wide range of scholarship with oral histories of the people of Qatar. The National Museum is organized as a thematic and chronological sequence of galleries, which take the visitor on a 1.5 kilometer journey through immersive, multi-sensory experiences that provide multiple perspectives. The iconic building designed by the Pritzker Prize-winning architect, Jean Nouvel, is based on the form of the Desert Rose and is composed of large interlocking discs of different diameters and curvatures that surround the restored historic palace of Sheikh Al Thani, son of the founder of modern Qatar. to display of fossils of plants and animals that represent seven time periods of Qatar's history. A film made called The Beginnings encircles a viewer with images of the formation of the peninsula and early life forms, while digital displays bring to life long extinct plants and animals and now vanished landscapes. natural environments features models and exhibits about indigenous plants and animals from the Arabian oryx, the sand cat, and the death stalker scorpion to the largest of all fish, the nine meter long whale shark. In a kaleidoscope film experience by director Christoph Scheissen and legendary filmmaker Jacques Perrin, birds fill a sky 50 meters wide, schools of fish swim through the deep, and a windstorm dazzles the senses. The People of Qatar exhibit begins with an exploration of movement as a fundamental element in the identity of the Qatari people. Seasonal movement between Al Bar, the inland desert, and the coast. Movement to find water and pastures, and movement to buy and sell goods. The gallery is organized around a three-dimensional sculpture of the peninsula and tells the story of how survival depended for centuries on a nomadic way of life. Objects in the gallery include elaborate camel saddles, leather water bags, and an array of artifacts rescued from the wreck of the Sibiran, a trading vessel that sank 1,000 years ago off the Indonesian coast. The faces and voices of Qatar's people enter the gallery, recounting their experiences of living in this land through a specially commissioned oral history film by John Kane. Desert brings to life the challenges, joys, and satisfactions of living in the inland desert. The gallery includes a complete tent, displays of saddle weaving, and clusters of cooking utensils surrounded by sounds of poetry. <laughs>
Pleasant Coast features a large-scale model of the important center for trading and pearling, Al Zubara, one of the largest and best-preserved coastal cities in the Arabian Gulf, and Qatar's first UNESCO World Heritage Site listing. Capturing the rhythms of life during the Haiti of Al Zubra are several films that are projected on a 16 backdrop that wraps around the model of the site. celebrations includes a sparkling display of jewelry, costumes, and other rare and splendid objects, which testify to the role of the pearling industry for many years as Qatar's main link with the world. Among these is one of Qatar's greatest national treasures, the renowned Pearl Carpet of Baroda. In the modern history of Qatar, the story of Qatar is told through a series of interlinked spaces, the first of which is Building the Nation, which covers the years 1500 to 1913 and presents historic figures from past times. A second space, The Coming of Oil, focuses on the transitional moment between 1913 and 1972. From the collapse of the pearling industry to the discovery of oil, suddenly a desert country with a few inhabitants became a nation that attracted people from all around the world. Pipliotti Wrist, Your Brain to Me, My Brain to You, is an immersive experience of light and sound, blurring the boundaries between technology and human perception. Artist Pipliotti Wrist turns the former museum into an intimate space for visitors, inviting them to wander amongst a shimmering installation composed of 12,000 LED lights. Dubbed pixels, the lights represent firing neurons, the basis of perception, working together as a digital brain symbolizing Qatar.
beetroot is smoked, smoked cheese beetroot sesame mm -hmm. the tahini on the bottom, on the bottom. Um, this one is like small bell tabouleh tarragon is very fresh with lime, le lemon, cucumber and then I miss some, I miss something uh, Where is that? Oh, this one is the camel. Camel results, sweet bell pepper. That was camel? This yeah, camel. Yeah. Oh, it's cooked. Eight camel. This is yeah, so. Yeah. It's camel, so yeah. Oh, okay. With <laughs> onion and grilled capsicum, and you have the Mohammara sauce on the side. Oh, that was supposed yeah. to go with that? Yes. Yeah, Oopsie. exactly. Red capsicum. This okay. goes with this. And cuckoo sauce with the crispy leafy fish. The yellow sauce with the fish. Okay, this was supposed to go with camel. Enjoy. Got it. Okay. All right. That's cool. Yeah. The food. So the food. Like, why did you choose these dishes? What do they represent? Or? This is very like um, so about the lady fish at the beginning. So this one is uh, we made it during the World Cup. So I created this dish um, because for the World Cup is very international, mm -hmm. and the lady fish is a very typical local fish, and it was a mix for the like a finger food and uh, junky food about the fish. Uh, the, the, the fish and chips, <coughs> and I was I wanted to work around it. Mm. This is the first yeah. one. Mm. After you know we are working uh, around Hodu that we can find in Qatar and uh, mm. Mm. for Barak, that the fish of here. Mm. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Actually, told me this is the, the best dessert they ever had. Oh, really? so that's good, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, really, the best meal we ever had. Best meal. Yeah. Best meal. Here you go. Mm. Not only about the food, what about the service? Yes. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> They're really enjoying their, their time, they do stuff, are lovely. So, mm -hmm. thank you so much for this experience. Thank, thank you. So, the first time I'm going to be Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah. 